These latest headlines from ABC 15 are sponsored by Learner and Rowe Injury Attorneys. One call, that's all. Hi there, I'm Nohe Lonnie Graf with your afternoon update from ABC 15 Arizona. We do want to share a bittersweet goodbye for one of the Valley's oldest family owned businesses, Serrano's Mexican Restaurant, shutting down their flagship downtown Chandler location in June after serving authentic Mexican cuisine there for nearly half a century. The family's history of entrepreneurship in the city dates back more than 100 years. They ran a department store first under the same name for 60 of those years before eventually opening that trademark restaurant. Restaurants don't last very long. If you turn around and you look around and you say, what's been here for 40 plus years? Any, any restaurant, which, you know, where and how, they're few and far between. So we have, truly we've been blessed. Now, Serrano's does still have four other locations that you will still be able to visit in other areas of the East Valley. Pushing for change when it comes to women in the business field. That's the goal. An Arizona professor who has made it her mission to educate not just her students, but the world about the challenges that do still exist for so many women. Here's ABC 15's Nick Saletti with her story. I never had economics in high school. I was taught home economics. So it was about how to, how to manage a household. Even as a young woman, University of Arizona professor Dr. Mary Rigdon knew that she and her female classmates were capable of more. So women are less likely to negotiate higher salaries, less likely to ask for well-deserved pay raises, less likely to apply for promotions, even more fully qualified for bigger and better gigs and that we shy away from male dominated higher paying positions. And she's trying to change that, dedicating her life to examining policies, societal limitations and data that show our culture still hasn't created a level playing field for women, especially in the business world. Dr. Rigdon says just 10% of Fortune 500 companies had a female CEO in 2023. That's just mind boggling to me. And that it's a record high, right? Dr. Rigdon says much of the research points the finger at women themselves, saying they're simply not as competitive as their male counterparts. It puts the burden on women and it tells women that, you know, you need to change your behavior if you need if you want to be more successful instead of thinking creatively about designing incentive mechanisms that might actually encourage women to compete in competitive jobs. Instead, Dr. Rigdon suggests companies need to change their approach, not women. It's about changing the system in which we operate. So there are ways in which organizations, we think, can attract competitive women, but we just need to think strategically about what those incentive mechanisms look like instead of telling women to lean in, be more assertive. But there's also a huge difference when it comes to gender pay in this country, especially for women of color. So according to the latest data from Pew Research, for every $1 a white man earns for a job, an Asian woman would only earn 93 cents, a white woman, 83 cents, a black woman, 70 cents, and a Hispanic woman, just 65 cents. And it's coming at a big cost to our country. So we as a society are paying costs associated with this pay gap uh, between black and Latina uh, people. And they estimate it would increase US GDP by $1.5 trillion over the next 10 years to close this racial pay gap. Nick Saletti, ABC 15, Arizona. Time now for that most accurate forecast of meteorologist Iris Hermosillo. After a weekend in the 60s, temperatures soared all the way into the 80s yesterday, believe it or not. We made it to 81 degrees, despite the fact that we had some thunderstorms in the area. Today, not quite as warm, but we'll climb back into the upper 70s, so we'll be right near what's normal for this time of year. Here in the valley, highs in the 40s to 50s up in northern Arizona. Look for more scattered showers and storms across northern Arizona. Some areas of light snow over some of those mountain peaks, and for the valley, a very slight chance of a stray shower or ice isolated storm as we go through the afternoon. Most spots stay dry, but watch for a stray shower today. 78 for a high today, then we're warming back up here in the valley with temperatures back in the 80s starting tomorrow. Highs reach the mid 80s Thursday, Friday and Saturday, but the winds will start to pick up this weekend again. After things dry out for a couple days in the high country, we'll see the showers start again this weekend for the, for the valley, also bringing a chance for rain back in by Sunday and Monday as temperatures fall back into the low 70s too.
Be sure to check back for another update with us tonight. But until then, you can get the latest news, weather, and traffic at ABC15.com or on the go with our ABC15 app. Make it a great day. These latest headlines from ABC 15 are sponsored by Lerner and Rowe Injury Attorneys. One call, that's all.